In this video, we're going to be taking out the axle in this go-kart and checking it and seeing if it is bent or not. And I have a very strong suspicion that it is because wobbling. So yeah, we're going to start by taking the tires off. Put the brake on, that'll help us out. There we go. Only took 140 pounds. We have this nice castle bolt. I think that's what they're called in a washer. And then I'm guessing a key, a shaft with a key in it for the tire. Because this tire, it doesn't have like lug nuts it's just bolted straight onto the shaft with i'm guessing a key uh, that or spline shaft uh so let's break the other side loose and then we can pull the tires off when it's jacked up so they come with this little rubber cover which are hard to get off in and of themselves yeah we're gonna there's that cover off, and then they come with these, uh, I don't know what they're called, I, I know what they're called, but I forgot. It's this little uh, pieces of metal that are threaded in through the castle bolt, the castle nut, to keep it from un to keep it from loosening. So you have to pull those out, and those are an absolute pain to get out and in for that matter, but they are good for this. You have to like unbend them. And All right, there's there's that guy out. This one's considerably tighter. Need a breaker bar for this. There we go. This gotta kick it. That's gotta be that's a lot of some serious foot pounds right there, so need to remember that when I tighten it back up. Okay. So we'll get all our hardware and put it in one spot so we don't lose it. Now these, you do get new one of these. I don't think you're meant to reuse the old ones because, I mean, they're even worse to get back in once you've pulled them out and t twisted them and bend them all up. All right. Not sure how easy or hard these tires will be to come off. Oh, they're coming. Which one? That's better than keep because they don't break. There we go. You can see that this is in fact a spline shaft, which is very good because that they're way less likely to break than a key, a regular key cut shaft and you can see here's our uh, axle bearings they're not very big that's for sure so hopefully we don't have a bad axle bearing now I'm not sure exactly what I'm meant to be doing with this but I think this little bolt in here I meant to undo and that loosens up this 
disc and sprocket so you can just slide the shaft out. I'm also going to unbolt the bearings. Alright, well, I'll give you an update when I'm done taking all the bolts out and ready to slide this axle out of here. Okay, so update time. I got that little guy out and the bearing covers, and I've started pounding it out. Now, I know what you're going to say. Don't damage the threads. I know. Uh, they've tapered this end so the threads start right here, so not at the tip. And, to be extra safe, I'm using this padding and the sledgehammer to pound this out uh, without damaging the thread stall because you don't want to do that. Here's one of the bearings and it's coming. I'll show you this side so you can watch it pop out. Okay. Well, there we go. So this greasy part in the center has the the key on it, and that's what holds the sprocket and brake uh, brake disc brake on. So pretty important little key right there. I've got this little piece of metal. On. This is the cover for the the bearing. And that'll hopefully more evenly distribute the force so I can get this thing off. a pain in the butt but we got that off okay so now we can get this little key out uh -huh. this little guy is what keeps this thing going down the road if it broke everything would break you wouldn't have brakes you wouldn't have power you would still have steering, but nothing, none of the drive, drivetrain. So yeah, very, very important piece right there. All right, now that we have all that stripped off of it, we can do our roundness test. And that involves taking a flat surface, as flat as you can find, making sure it's as clean as possible. All right. So now we roll it. Hear that sound? Okay. Through a long process, I finally determined that this thing was in fact bent. Very slightly bent. And by the roll test, you can also see that this is the case. If you try to...
right now it teeters hear that it's teetering it's like a u shape slightly it's up on the ends then when i rotate it the other way no teeter completely solid um yeah see listen to that that's totally wobbly right i mean look at the daylight under there then we roll it and nothing i'm pulling up and down and nothing's happening so it's bent it's bent all right so that would explain the wobble when that we feel in the go-kart when going fast down the smooth road so now what to do about it should i buy a new axle a new live axle from go power sports or should we roll with this one because it's not very bent it's very slight but it is indeed bent i think i'm going to look into getting a new one so uh i'll let you know i'll give you an update when i either get a new one or decide to put this one back in and so yeah